Hi everyone, it's Artist from Man Carpentry. In today's video, uh, I'm gonna show you how I've been sticking the um, sanic clad boards or hygienic wall and ceiling cladding boards. Um, if you're gonna go on YouTube channel, they will show you how to do it, but I've I've done it on my own all of these, so I worked out my own way um, of doing it. And first of all, um, what you're gonna need is a laser level, so you can uh, see the lines. Because for instance, if your outside wall or one of the walls ain't straight, that allows you to uh, cut it in to the shape um, so that's what I've been using I'll show you the one which is pretty much done so this is as you can see nearly done all I got to do is trim around windows and and put the clear glass perspex glass in but most of it is done siliconing is done and the flooring will be lastly done so that is where we are and how it basically looks obviously i'm gonna have a um last video when it's all complete so i'll do that as well um for you so you can see how it looks fully finished but uh, yeah, so basically what I've been doing, uh, the biggest difference what I've found was uh, instead of <coughs> applying the adhesive onto the sheet, I apply it onto the surface they're gonna fix to. And reason being when it's on a sheet, cause it's so flimsy in this form, I find it heavy and flimsy or heavier and flimsy with the additional adhesive onto the boards, it would make it a lot harder. And also for tight areas like these, you would, you're bound to touch a surface, you know, and if you've got a say finished board, you just go and, you know, just make it all messy with the adhesive. So I find it, I um, put my adhesive about, 20 millimeters of the edge of where it's going so it doesn't squeeze out where I don't want it to squeeze out um, so that's what I've been doing I use where do I, where is it I have much trout somewhere I use a a notched trowel um, well this is the one of the that's what i've been using been using one of these trousers because i find the uh the square notch uses too much adhesive and then what you find that you got to work harder with this roller this is another thing you're gonna need to roll it onto the surface uh to squeeze out any air so and so it sticks fully so uh i've been i've swapped i've done a couple pens with the square notch trowel four mil trowel uh, and a you use more adhesive uh, so for for each pen or for each board i've been using about one and a quarter of tubs of six and a half kilos um of the adhesive bear in mind they are not full boards height wise uh i think the highest point is 2.7 meters and then it goes down to 2.3 meters roughly so probably if you if you would have a three meter board you probably would use one and a half um uh sheet you could uh, you could stick one and a half sheet per tub I would say so you need two tubs for three sheets uh, or something like that where now it's uh, 
but now you can get more out of it obviously um so it's a quarter so yeah that's the other thing because when i looked into it myself it stated that you consumption is about a sheet per tub for per tub of uh the adhesive which is six points i think 6.3 kilos or something uh 6.5 kilos um so probably seven by the time you've added in um hardener that's two part um so yeah <clears throat> so basically yeah i thought i'd share this with you just in case uh, i suppose you could use it for showers as well not just for um you know paints uh, and it is used probably in hospitals and you know and areas where it's you know high cleaning with detergents etc so um so yeah i think that is a widely used material to be fair uh, and can be used in you know what in uh, many sort of applications if you like um i think it could be used for bioflet properties as well uh, potentially in showers because uh, you can get all sort of trims corner trims etc for it um i've been as you can see i've been using uh joining trims there so so yeah uh i'm not going to talk too much so i'll show you how i've been doing i film this pen the only thing i won't be able to do is to close in this side fully because um where the outside is not the best still it kind of you know changes and i still got to do trimming up for all the other pens so last sheet will be left undone unfinished until the last minute i'll do everything else so i can trim windows trim where the um glass perspex glass will be to see through the pens um and yeah i'll do all other boards but the very last one will leave unfixed but you know um that's that's just for me that's just the way it works out for me so yeah i hope you're gonna enjoy it and i'll catch up you in a bit so first job i do i measure out where say sockets are window etc um so i'll do this end one first just just because i got a sheet sitting there so i'll do that uh, first and then i'll walk my way this way uh so yeah all i've done there is marked where the socket will be and what i'll do once it's stuck once it's gone off i'll drill a little hole and then I'll use that uh, middle hole to line up my socket and just mark it around instead of cutting it um, before you actually fitted it. Um, same with the window, I'll just cut a hole um, in the middle roughly and then I can measure back and uh, once it's gone off I can just measure to uh, mark it out on a sheet and then cut it with motor tool or router um yeah you got a few options you can do um with the guide bush you could technically do it um which i probably will do on the windows um once i've done so yeah but that's that's that and then once you mark before you obviously stick it make sure the sheet fits so they say you want at least a couple of mil uh, sheet to be smaller than the uh, area you're fitting it in to allow for expansion contraction because they will uh, obviously move as any material in cold and warmth so um, that's what I've been doing about two millimeters well in, what I've been doing I've been cutting three millimeters smaller than actual size which gives me mil and a half each side and in the corners you can get the trims but what i've been doing i've been uh using just a silicon um purely really 
to, to cut a cost because every trim is like I can't remember how much it was because we need so many but it's just yeah it works out a lot dearer so we um, decided not to go that route which you can depending obviously on what you are doing it for and yeah and I'll just use silicon as we've done as I showed you in the first pen we'll just silicon the corners and that does the job so yeah I'll measure it out, measure it on the sheet and uh, I'll just prepare for sticking. So I'll double check because so they fit in position where it needs to fit and uh, we go from there and then we're going to walk our way back. So yeah, I'll speak to you in a bit. Once I get to the board where I need to join, uh, you can buy these trims. This is the base you stick to the wall, and this is what covers it that goes in the groove basically. And uh, so, this is what you see. Uh, what I do when I apply adhesive, I apply slightly over like 20 mil over, so I know I get my trim stuck on with adhesive and it sets at the same time you know also what I allow I allow three millimeter gap on the between the uh, center of the of the trim and the board to allow for expansion and uh, yeah so as the other things when it comes to joining it well in my case is this way uh, some we might need to use like a stop trim on the bottom so you know but in my case it's just the joining trim and then we're gonna have floor vinyl uh, fitted or lino sorry fitted uh, and then silicon the bottom edge so yeah now I'm just gonna apply adhesive on that wall and we'll get the next board fitted these um, angle bits 
You got two options. You either use a um, like a template, or you can just measure. If you put your level, you'll know that it's plumb. Um, then you can measure to the, you know, from floor to corners. Uh, if your floor is level, then you should be, you know, good to go and should have a sort of easy, easier life. If not, then what you're gonna have to do, you cut it slightly bigger, which is in my case, there's slight bumps in the concrete, uh, and then you offer in a position and you're gonna have to sort of scribe it in, um, because obviously this is all, all part of the shed, so it's not as great, it's not as flat. Um, with the uh, po uh, point where it meets two sides, what I use, and what I have been using is the uh, template again, which I made when I was doing OSB. You know, cause without it, you'll be in trouble basically. If you get it wrong the first time with the cuts, then you know, you, you ruin the sheet and it's not cheap um, sheet to, ru uh, to ruin. So, um, hence why I've been using a a template so I offer it on even if it's out uh, I mark it how much I need to add uh, and where to add and I can go from there and then I get it spot on or near spot on if I got a little cuts to do it doesn't matter because I allow again I'll make a bit longer and that's how I get the a um, harder bits done by using a template um, so yeah, I would suggest you doing the same and that's that so I'll crack on and I'll comment in a bit for you uh, so you can see how I did it uh, I'm not gonna film all the process simply because uh, just repetitive work and you know don't think you'll find it very interesting to watch over and on again because the um, obviously process doesn't change so when I stick the other board and have a trim, I always put a trim in. Uh, reason being so the boards get held, the edge of the boards, and that way they will um, stick. Also, I use, I'll show you, I use adhesive, which I bought with the, with the plastic, yeah. but it's, basically polymer adhesive it doesn't have to be this made but this brand uh, so what I do when I've got my trim up before I put board I put the bead here make sure that when the board goes goes on to the uh, laps over that that is sealed the joint because technically if it's like used in shower somewhere else and you get water just gushing in so you could end up with that sheet failing later on so by doing by sealing this you make sure that it doesn't happen and with this stream being in a position what I will do you will also clip down the board and the adhesive 
uh, so it will all be you know intact uh, and yeah that's basically it uh, when it comes to doing around the windows bottom depending on what you're gonna have there's trims available um, there's finishing trim which is like an L U shape trim where you slot the bottom of the um, so you set out the trim first and you can slot the sheet into the trim uh, there's also a corner trims which I got just, a, just an L shape plastic which I'm gonna use to go around these corners but first of all I'm gonna um, line it with plastic same on the windows etc um, just like a return so those returns will be done in plastic uh, same here I'll have a corner trim which will be just um, attached to a board um, so yeah basically that is it I uh, hope you enjoyed it and I will catch up with you in the next video just a <coughs> catch up video <clears throat> on um, plastic so we've I've showed you how I did the uh, cladding plastic cladding on walls uh, how to do it on your own uh, because obviously they they suggest two people doing it you can do it on your own but there's obviously some difficulties with it being flexible but I wanted to show you the final on how I trimmed around the windows these trims can be purchased with the board um, I think you could actually use as well on on uh, on the shower rooms you know as a potentially um, as a potential you know product to use <clears throat> so this is how I trimmed around the windows um, that's all done now as well the only thing we left to do is silicone but that's best decorator does it uh, for me so here I've done the see-through windows so that's done as well uh, and as you can see I've used I've used the uh, corner bead to cover it then what I did use I had a four millimeter glass and I had plastic which I trimmed to suit uh, and, and this plastic here so this trim I used on the on this side so I placed it uh, on the on the surround on the inside I pinned it and glued it <coughs> with the second uh, fixed nail gun beforehand I checked where this trim needs to sit or where it's gonna sit so I don't have to do any more trimming so it's just fixed and done uh, and then Obviously, I had to <clears throat> trim this back just to, to suit, which I have done. Uh, it was like four millimeters of the trim, so it worked quite well. So I stuck and pinned that down and then just glued this with the uh, adhesive poly. Uh, where is it? I can't remember. Polymer adhesive. So it doesn't have to be this brand. But polymer is, which means it will stay permanently flexible. Um, so that's what you want with plastic because it obviously will move with the temperature. <coughs> so yeah, that's how it looks. And hope you will find it useful. Um, as I said, there's you know many applications you can use this sheet for, depending you know what you're doing. Uh, but the idea is it's obviously waterproof and <clears throat> well, after siliconing <clears throat> joints and are also um, yeah easy to clean so no you know no um, no 
ground joints to worry about etc the only thing i would say the walls need to be quite perfectly flat because uh it's only thin material so as we if you tile it <coughs> tile the areas it's easier because you can you know they're more rigid and you can build out with uh these are where here walls need to be flat to fit it so it looks good and uh, that's the only thing i would say but yeah as i as i mentioned um there are many applications for it you can check it out online obviously um, i hope you enjoyed <coughs> this sort of video and i'll catch you in my next video